When beta oxidation is excessive, the two carbon fatty acid fragments are converted into acidic ketone bodies. This overproduction of ketone bodies results in a condition known as ketosis and can lead to ketoacidosis of the blood. After lipolysis, glycerol is converted to pyruvic acid. Pyruvic acid is then used to form acetyl coenzyme A, which enters the Krebs cycle. The resulting reduced coenzymes produced are then used to generate ATP in the electron transport chain. Glycerol can then be shunted into the glycolytic pathway and converted to glucose. This process, known as gluconeogenesis, is stimulated by the hormones glucagon and cortisol. Lipid anabolism is known as lipogenesis. The process, stimulated by insulin, takes place in liver and adipose cells. New lipids, or triglycerides, are synthesized from acetyl coenzyme A and glucose molecules. Acetyl coenzyme A molecules are produced from amino acids, glucose, and ketone bodies. These molecules are then converted to fatty acids. Through the formation of glyceraldehyde phosphate, glucose is converted to glycerol. Then, through a series of anabolic reactions, glycerol and fatty acids become triglycerides and phospholipids.